products um, via, I think like it was a carbon emission from a plume or something that was in the area. Um, but I don't think there's any that we found any, you know, high concentration. How about high concentration of shark tea? Like my, my grandfather had a wheat farm in Montana. Yeah. Uh -huh. and it, it, uh, near the north central part and there was a lake next to it and you could go out there and you could see the sediment being washed away and you find shark teeth and it was about maybe 20 feet underneath the soil. Yeah, I don't know of anywhere out here specifically. Um, it's going to be so touchy because it has to be such a specific type of environment for a like that to, you know, first of all, settle um, and then also to be able to persist in that area and not either be washed away or, um, you know, not to Is this your area of focus? Yeah, I'm studying the sea sharks. Hi. Guy's a scientist. Hey! How are you? How are you? What are you doing Smile. down here? Smile. Well, right now I'm making a video. I'm just walking around and taking in all the sights. I was riding my motorcycle around and I just came upon it. Good, how are you? Good. Welcome you, to the Mycology Lab. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you interested in For some a minute, I thought she was eating a piece of seaweed. No. There's pieces <laughs> of seaweed in it, though. Uh oh, seaweed. That's yeah, good. so seaweed, especially all the red seaweeds, they have this thing uh -huh. called carrageenan. Right. Which works as an emulsifier. Mm -hmm. Makes things thicker and also sweeter. And that's found in a lot of products like ice cream, shaving gel, the aquafresh, the toothpaste. Uh -huh. um, those little fruit cups will have carrageenan in it. Nice. And essentially, if you'd like to try some carrageenan, you just have to identify the species of algae that are in these buckets just by touch. That sounds great. Yeah, except for you got all this stuff on. Yeah, and I had a big lunch. Okay. But thanks for the offer, and this is yeah. really cool. Really walking now, huh? <laughs>
I know that's on. It is. And you look good. You're looking for a penguin dance? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, no, no. It's okay. I got a little, I got a little dignity. They got me in the suit, but... <laughs> You know the story of this? No. We're one of the 10 most environmentally friendly buildings in the United States for universities. Okay. Right the spot you're looking at right now, all of the plants have been restored to the native species right here. We have three endangered species on site currently. And plants? Three endangered uh, plants? Animals. Oh. Animal. There's one plant, actually, and two animals on site. Legless lizard's one. The sand gilly is the plant. And unfortunately, I don't know the name of the third one. That perch right there is for a couple of hawks and falcons that like to hang out here, and they are a natural gopher control, rodent control. And so they'll sit up there and, and feed on the, the animals cruising around. Um, but this was also a Native American midden site, so it was a kitchen refuge site. So if you go to the parking lot out here, it doesn't have asphalt, and that's so that the spirits, if any, are around, are able to actually make its way through the parking lot. Okay. So, and then the it's last... Up into your car and... Yeah. Through the... <laughs> A possession right here on site. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty amazing little spot right here. We're actually the only rock. Everything else around here is sand dunes. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you want to give me the baba? All right, now I'm gonna go with John. Yeah, you got an awesome view. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Million dollar view.